Hi everyone, Metal Breakdown here, so welcome back to my channel. Uh, I said I would not make any video during my, tri my trip to Mexico, uh, because yeah, I'm in Mexico right now, you can see it's absolutely beautiful, I'm really enjoying myself, uh, I'm truly having a great time, so... Uh, sorry for the bad audio quality, sorry for not having the green screen with me. Uh, the quality will be shit compared to what I usually do, but since I made a reaction to the new, uh, for the new Baby Metal song, because I promised uh, you guys that I would do it, even though I would not be home. Uh, we also have a brand new Motionless in White song, uh, so since I'm already taking time to do a video, why not do two? Uh, because this is another song I'm so excited about. Uh, we already had two singles that were both released at the same time, so I'm talking about this guys, and I'm also talking about Brand New Nam. They even released a music video for uh, this guys, which I reacted to last week, if I remember correctly. It was pretty cool, pretty cool, really well done. Um, I was wondering which one would be the third single. Uh, I know that they asked the fans which songs they would want to hear next. Uh, basically everyone in the comment section were saying On That Head uh, Part 2, which is the new song we have today. Uh, the Tale of the Midnight Ride. So excited to listen to that. It's basically a sequel to On That Head, which was a song on the very first album by the band called Creatures. Uh, so it would be cool to uh, have the creature sounds back for this song. Uh, would be really special because the other two songs, this guy's and Brand New Nam, were real good. Probably my favorite songs, uh, or at least among my favorite songs released this year so far. But they're not like the Creatures album. So if this one sounds like the Creatures album, it will blow me away. Um, and yeah, I'll do some cuts during the reaction. Uh, just to be sure that the video uh, does not get blocked or anything tomorrow because after that I won't be able to touch to YouTube again uh, during my trip to Mexico so I just want to make sure that everything will be alright without any uh, copyright strike or copyright block or anything so uh, it will just be a way for me to be safe at one person but yeah hopefully you'll still be able to enjoy this video even though it's not like my typical kind of video make sure to check out my other videos uh, if you want to know uh, how my video usually are but they're more professional than this and I even want to get even more professional than what I usually do in the near future so don't worry about the quality it's better than this but for now guys I'm so excited as motion license white fans right now so let's check out the brand new song on the head to the tell of the midnight ride right now <laughs> I think so far we hear a horse just walking in the wood. It sounds pretty sinister. We'll see what's coming next. I'm hype. <laughs> so it's really the straight up sequel to uh, the first song. Sounds massive, I love it. So fucking heavy. The creature sound is back. Oh my fucking god. The old school fans will be so fucking happy with this song. And I'm not a whole school fan, but I love this album. And I'm truly happy right now. Hell yeah. This is definitely a fucking banger. This is so good. Now I'm really wondering if we'll get other songs with that vibe on the album or if it will be the heaviest. We'll see. The chorus is also really catchy. I love the chorus more because they're so heavy with all the screams and everything. But this chorus is like such a good one as well. Oh 
this little girl, I don't know even know if it's a girl, but the la 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 are making it so fucking creepy. <laughs> the throwback creatures, oh my god. I'm telling you right away, guys. Wow. This has to be my favorite one so far from the new album. This is beyond incredible. And now can I ask myself if they'll do a trilogy with that and maybe in an upcoming album in like 10 years we'll get on that head tree. Would be insane, right? <laughs> And the song is ending perfectly with an incredible in outro, not in track. <laughs> oh my god, that was insane. Uh, the part that uh, surprised me the most was probably the breakdown with uh, the reference to the Creatures album. Obviously, wow. Wow is definitely the word that I would describe this song with. So I was already in love with this guy and Brand New Numb. I was already like convinced that this would be a good album. I also uh, was already convinced that uh, I would buy the album. Uh, I was a huge fan of the previous one, uh, The Graveyard Shift. It was one of my favorite albums of 2017. So I was ready for more, but this just convinced me even more. Uh, I love uh, the throwback to the old sound, I'm also happy that they're not making an entire album uh, like this because yeah, we have creatures, if we want to listen to it, we just have to go back to it. Uh, so I don't see why a lot of fans are uh, shitting on that and that's the case for most of the band, it's not just Martianless in White. But it's so cool though that they're doing this song because for yeah, the fans that are always like, oh we need more of this sound. Uh, are finally getting at least one song and uh, for the other people that love them trying new stuff we'll still get that with the album so that's why it's my favorite one so far uh, I had so much fun listening to this one obviously it might change uh, when I'll listen to it again which I'll do uh, a lot in the next couple of days when I'll just be uh, laying down on the beach or whatever uh, it's not the perfect type of song for that since it's so dark, but I just love dark shit even when I'm in a sunny place like uh, beautiful Cancun right now. So, yeah. Um, also, I need to pre-order the album as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully you'll do the same because, yeah, we need to support uh, great bands like this that do great heavy music. Um, I wanted to pre-order the special edition of the album, you know, the one with the hands of the creature. Uh, I tried to do that uh, when they announced the album. Uh, in the morning I was in, in college, I was having an exam, so I just said to myself, don't do that right now, it will just like uh, blow up your concentration, your focus on the exam. Do it later, uh, there's a thousand available, you'll be able to get one. Uh, when you'll be done with the exam and everything but I felt so bad because when I got back home ready to buy the special edition of the album it was already sold out I should have known better this band is really big so uh, I should have known better I suck but I'll be able to probably uh, still buy a cool package or something so yeah, I won't be too sad that way. So yeah, guys, um, I have so I had so much fun with this song. Uh, it would be cool to hear your opinion in the comment section, especially uh, the fans that have been a fan of Motionless in White since the release of Creatures. You're probably even more happy than I am. I discovered them in 2015, I think. Uh, so yeah, I'm not a fan since day one, but I love what they do and. They keep getting better and better. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to see them live as well. Would be cool. Uh, I had like a lot of chances when I just discovered them, or uh, before that, I know they were always in Montreal, but they did not even visit during the um, Graveyard Chef album cycle. So, yeah, I need to see them this year. Hopefully, it will happen during the fall. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. 
uh, to my channel. Uh, I'll put some of the older uh, motion lesson right reactions I did in the past. I'll put probably brand new Nam and this guy. So if you want to watch them, they will be there for you. Uh, take care, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.